Hyundai is obviously leading the charge with their alternate vehicles to combat that oh fuel economy blues. They have three models that they're introducing this year out of the brand new Ionic platform. You have an electric vehicle, the EV, and that'll get up to 124 miles on a single charge. You also have the hybrid version, which is a sealed system, and that vehicle you can actually get approximately 58 miles per gallon thereabouts between the electric and the gasoline engine. But you also have a plug-in hybrid, and that will allow you to recharge the battery yourself, and you can drive the vehicle solo up to electric 27 miles approximately, given the load that you're putting on the vehicle at the time. But you can also choose when you use that electric power or just stick with the gasoline engine. So you've got three different choices, three different amazing vehicles. Now this is obviously the plug-in hybrid. Clue, there's the plug and there's the engine. They use a lighter aluminum subframe because anything to create a lighter vehicle makes it easier on hybrids or electric vehicles. But the engine system itself actually uses a water-cooled exhaust gas recirculating system, which allows them to recycle up to 20% of the exhaust gas. They cool it off up to 20% in the intake to allow them to get more miles per gallon out of every drop of petrol that you use. And then, of course, when you want to use the electric, you can kick that in as well. So it's really the best of both worlds. Now, one of the things you can't really notice like many automakers nowadays is they have an active air shutter in the front grille, which will open up at lower speeds to allow cooler air inside and then close up at higher speeds to enhance the uh, aerodynamics of the vehicle. Now, the car only weighs around 3,000 plus pounds, so you're not moving a lot of metal in the process, but you definitely want to be comfortable. That's why they have McPherson struts in front, multi-link independent suspension in the rear, and there's lots of room inside as well, not only for passengers, but also for cargo. Let's check it out. Now, for the plug-in and the hybrid, you have 26.5 cubic feet of cargo space. But with the electric, you have 23 because those motors take up a little bit more space. That's why they put the torsion beam rear suspension in the electric and leave it multi-link for the hybrids. So it's still got lots of room. It's not bad at all. And the Ionic is extremely aerodynamic with a drag coefficient of 0.24. But there's some cool stuff on the inside I want to show you. Your automatic transmission is the six-speed dual-clutch EcoShift transmission. I believe it's the same one they use in the Veloster. So you even have a sport shift opportunity so you can shift through the gears and control your acceleration. Plus the interior is very comfortable very nicely laid out. Nice screen tilted towards the driver. All of your information about your hybrid system is right there at your fingertips. You have additional screens in the front at the dash area. Pretty simple flat bottom steering wheel so it's easy to get in and out. A lot of nice cup holders, little storage areas, power sources, and um, well it's it's an economy car so it's um, economical all the way around. Well, we can't wait for the Ionic to hit our dealerships, and that way we can give you a full review. But until then, um, just keep checking our channel, you know, and subscribe.